Laurent, you are feeding people and the grid at the same time. How are you doing that? Absolutely, Beat. So at Insolite, we are developing a novel agrivoltaic solution, which means we are producing energy and agriculture on the same land. The way it works, it's a translucent solar installation that can let light to the crops and at the same time protect them from excess of heat and extreme weather conditions such as hail or heavy rains. By doing so, we can cover many SDG impacts at once from saving uh, CO2 emissions to also improving agricultural resilience against climate change. The market is very big. If we just look at berries that like a lot the shades, we talk about 200,000 hectares in Europe, which means 200 gigawatt potential, so roughly 200 billion opportunities. And there are many other crops that need shade. On top of that, we are getting to a very exciting stage. Uh, we are now building the first hectare-sized agrores. We currently have 20 million of projects in the pipeline, uh, and finally getting to the full scale of the solution. Uh, we did to just close the financing round, Series A, uh, now to 10 million, but we'll look for further financing, whether asset financing or the future Series B. So feel free to reach out, and thanks a lot for your attention. From the sun, one cannot uh, only harvest electricity, but uh, much, much more. Sour up. How does that work? That's, that's very much correct, Biat. In fact, the need of the hour today is to reduce our current dependency on conventional fossil fuels, which are not only exhausting, but are also at the center of major geopolitical tensions. And hydrogen is already recognized as the clean alternative fuel for the future. Though the main problem is that most of this hydrogen, in fact, is produced using fossil fuels, which kind of kills the purpose. So wouldn't it be great if we could produce this clean fuel simply by using sunlight and water. This would be absolutely amazing, and this is exactly what we do at So High Tech. At So High Tech, we have developed a groundbreaking artificial tree solution, which uses only sunlight and water to give you clean, green, and cost-effective fuel and power. At So High Tech, we develop, build, and operate gardens and forests of these artificial trees and provide hydrogen and power as a service to our customers in the industrial, in the commercial, and mobility sectors. Currently, we are deploying large-scale projects in Europe, USA, and India. In order to expedite this, we are currently finalizing our fundraising round of 25 million US dollars. And if you are interested to join us on our journey, I would be happy to connect with you. My name is Saurabh, and I'm the CEO and founder of SoHiTech. So, but uh, until large ships are traveling on hydrogen, it will still take some time. And meanwhile, they keep polluting our planet, burning crude oil. How can we change that, Mario? Yeah, absolutely. There's, there is so much to unpack in that question, by the way. So, alternative fuels, hydrogen, it is going to take a long time to be the main fuel. And the, 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 the size of this effort the hundreds of trillions to really decarbonize the world. And, and, and we, sitting there waiting for hydrogen, as well, there are many really good solutions out there. It's not going to change the world. It's not, we're not going to meet the, the goals that we have. So we have in the maritime industry alone, there is about one trillion assets that have about 20 years life. There will be another trillion investment in the next, before 2030, in new assets. And they are going to be heavy fuel oil, diesel, or gas. And, and we cannot sit there to wait until we have the hydrogen ship or the ammonia ship. We need to start doing something about it. That, that's what we do at Daphne. So you can eliminate the methane that is emitted from natural gas vessels, li liquefied natural gas vessels. You can eliminate the toxic gases. You can capture part of the CO2, which is 10, 20%. And you can really move towards reaching this goal of the carbonization of net zero. And that's what Daphne does. We eliminate methane from post-combustion engines, natural gas engines. That gives you 25% reduction in CO2 equivalent. And with a very short impact, 12 years is the, the lifetime of methane. You can eliminate, we can capture CO2. We can capture 10, 15% of the CO2, even 30% of the CO2. And that's already a significant impact for oil vessels. And you can eliminate the toxic gases, sulfur oxides, nitrogen oxides. 
And that's what we do at Daphne. We, we focus on solutions that can be retrofitted in existing infrastructure at sea, such as the commercial, like the deep sea vessels, but also on land, such as uh, power generators, compressors, and even flares. Thank you. So we still need the big ships to import goods from uh, far away, like uh, vegetables or exotic fruits. But this also leads to a lot of food waste. How to cope with this, Lucia? Yes, you're right. So in AgroSustain, we develop natural pre-harvest and post-harvest solutions, like edible oils, in order to extend the freshness and shelf life of not only papayas, as you can see, but more than 20 different crops, vegetables, and fruits. Since 2018, we have been working hard to translate our ideas from the bench to the market. We have recently developed our own manufacturing facilities here in Switzerland, and we went commercial this year as well. We are starting the rollout of commercial sales in France as, and Germany, and already our first clients are giving us very good feedback on up to 40% on reduction of weight loss of food uh, waste in, uh, depending on the season. Um, we would like also to develop the organic versions of our products, and this is why we are looking for investors interested in order to help in us to strengthen our marketing strategy and our pipeline products. Thank you. <laughs> so, talking about food, polyfluorinated chemicals used in the clothing industry made it into our food chain and are even found in the liver of uh, polar bears. Is there no better alternative, Mario? Thanks yeah, for approaching this topic. Of course, there are better alternatives, and our customers are in dear need of them. Um, for you, to quickly remind you, these fluorinated chemicals, you use them in your frying pan so your steak doesn't stick, or you use them in the spray that you have that the water rolls off your rain jacket. But yeah, they get banned. California banned them last month. The EU is pushing. And we at Impora, we have a solution to help uh, the, this industry to replace these chemicals. 2019, together with Anna Belzung, I've incorporated the ETH spin of Timpora. Venture Kick pushed us into the right direction. And now we provide the waterproof, breathable membranes of the future. With our platform technology, patented technology, we can use circular materials. We introduce little rocks in them. We take them out. And with this, we create a material that you can use in the situation you should see on the slide, where you're outside, it starts to rain, but you still want to be active, so your body has to breathe. This plastic bag feeling is not nice, but still you have to keep dry. We are commercial with a ski glove, so if you don't, didn't buy yours for this season yet, you can get them at Bahnhofstraße or online shops. This with a Snow Life Together Swiss brand, um, and so we're commercial with that one further things to come. We're raising five million next year, so if you're interested in joining our journey to scale, please contact me on the platform or tonight at dinner or tomorrow. And yeah, hope sweets for tonight. Thank you. So what you've seen uh, today is five out of 918 uh, spin-off companies that Venture Cake has financed in the last 15 years. If you want to know more about us and our work here in Switzerland. There is a lot for all investors out there. There is a lot of great uh, startups. So uh, it's 100 new uh, projects that will finance just this year. So keep track of us, keep track of the startups. And I wish you a great continuation of this event.